Everything is AI these days. Even what's for dinner. It's true. Look, I asked AI for an air fryer recipe, so I'm going to have to go buy food after this. Anyway, I want to talk about the Prompt Builder because that's Salesforce solution to allow us to benefit from Gen AI within our CRM. The Prompt Builder basically takes your existing data mixed with your very carefully put together prompts to generate content. Now, because creating prompts can be time consuming and we wouldn't want our end users to waste any time, Salesforce has given us the power to create prompt templates. This works just like any other template, like your email template, for example, that once mapped directly to your data can create a prompt to be sent to large language models, LLMs, to create a response. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create and use the Prompt Builder. We're going to be creating a summary field on our account object that is going to take all of the related opportunities of that account and give us a summary. So the first thing that we need to do is to turn on Einstein and you can do this by going to setup and then searching for Einstein setup. Once you do this, new settings will become available to you. So make sure you hit refresh and then you wanna search for prompt builder. Now that we're in the prompt builder, we can create our first prompt template. So we go ahead and click new prompt template. So we're generating a text value and so field generation will work for us. We just have to give it a prompt template name. So we're gonna call this um, account sales summary. And then for a template description, we're going to say a summary of the opportunities related to this account. So for object, we're going to select the account object. Now, once you select your object, you're gonna to have to select your field. So if you haven't done this already, you need to go ahead and create a long text field within the object that you want to generate the summary on. We've already done this. And so I'm just gonna search for pipeline summary because that's the text field that we've created earlier. Now that we are inside the prompt builder, we can essentially start typing in our prompt. Now I've already crafted one. And so I'm just gonna paste that in here, but I'll walk you through it. So in this prompt, we're essentially saying, summarize the opportunity names, stages, and expected amounts from the opportunities associated with this account, which are contained in the opportunities. Keep the response to a single short paragraph. Now, there is something in addition to this that we need to do. We essentially need to help the system figure out where our related opportunities are. And so that's why opportunities here is in capital letters, because that just reminds me to be able to delete that so that we can actually map in our related opportunities. So if you just put your cursor over the bit of the prompt that you want to insert your resource to and then click on resources, here we can select account. And then if we scroll all the way down, we're going to be able to select opportunities. This is essentially the opportunities related to that account. Now, another thing that we can do is on the right hand side, we have some configuration properties that we can change. I'm going to be following the Trailhead Quest guidelines for this. So I'm gonna change the models to OpenAI GPT-4. Apparently this generates some really good responses in terms of summaries, so I'm gonna go with that. So the next thing that we can do is we can save and preview to get a taste of what this prompt is going to fetch us. And so to do that, we can just click on search accounts and then we can search for an existing account. So here's one of our existing accounts. I'm just going to select that and hit save and preview. Now, if you see on the bottom, it's going to start to generate a response for me. And I'll be able to review that before I actually activate this prompt template. Okay, so it's generated a response for us. We can see that it's not a very short paragraph though. And I guess the reason for that is because we are asking for it to include the opportunity names, the stages, and the expected amounts from each of the opportunities. And this account just seems to have quite a few opportunities. That's okay for us though. We're not really confined in terms of a short summary. This is just a summary, but we could play around with this. We could perhaps remove some of the details that it's telling us. We could also perhaps ask it to tell us how many opportunities we have, or perhaps confine it to just the next few upcoming opportunities and not every opportunity. But this is just a quick demo. I think this will work fine for us. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just hit activate. Okay, now this is activated. What we need to do is we need to go back to the front end and make some small changes. So I'm just gonna search for accounts here. I'm gonna go to my account object. 
So I'm just going to go into that account record. Within here, I'm going to go to the Lightning App Builder because I want to edit this Lightning record page. I want to select my record detail component and I want to upgrade that to dynamic forms. You can see I've already done that here. And then essentially what I've done is I added in a section called summary information. And within that, I added in my pipeline summary text field. Now, if I select this pipeline summary field on the right hand side, you see that we have a new feature, the Einstein generative AI field here. And this is where we can essentially select the template that we've just created. Then I'll hit save. Now, once this saves, I'm going to go back to the front end and I'll show you a couple of new things. So next to the pencil icon, you can see that we now have a little star and this is essentially an indicator to let you know that this field is driven by AI. If we click on the pencil icon, we can then have access to the field where you can still free type something if you want because it is a text field. But then we have this little star panel here and if we click here, the overlay for the Einstein actually shows up. Our prompt template is triggered. That prompt is sent through. It generates a response for us. Just click on this button that says use and that will copy and paste this response onto our text field for us. And now we can hit save. And now look, if we needed to review it, we could have. We could have amended it if we wanted to, but it seems fine for us. We've generated with very little effort, a complete summary of our pipeline for this account. So who would have thought you can actually generate summary fields within Salesforce with the same amount of effort that it takes me to ask AI what I should have for dinner tonight. I'll put the link to the Trailhead Quest below. You should definitely give this a try or let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you found this helpful. Until next time.